I wanna get like closets decluttered and just things a little bit more in order. So there's just so many spaces that are annoying me every time I open a closet or a drawer or a cabinet. The little things, they add up. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to the channel for I hope you're ready for a very satisfying vlog. We have things to organize that I've been procrastinating for a really long time and I don't want to procrastinate it any longer. We're going to have a lot of people over at our house in the next few weeks and house sitters while we're on our honeymoon. We also have a hair appointment, the final hair appointment before the wedding. So some fun things coming up in this video. Um, I want to show y'all something new that I'm really excited about before we get into this video. If you've been around for a while, you know how much I love this brand typology. Like looking at just my makeup drawer here alone, I have so many typology things that I use all the time. They are sponsoring this video, meaning I have a gift for y'all. Everything of theirs is made in France. France has super strict standards. They ban a ton of things that the US doesn't. So I love getting products from there. But I wanted to show you this, this, this new thing that I have been loving. This is mine, but I'm gonna show you. I have an unopened one so you can see how this comes. This is their Soothing Eye Collagen Mask and then these silicone patches as well, which are reusable indefinitely. So this is their eye mask. You just apply it under your eyes like this. It is this plumping gel balm texture. It has plant collagen in it. The plumping helps reduce fine lines, the appearance of them. So then you apply this eye mask and then you lay on these silicone patches over top. And this helps the ingredients penetrate into your skin and retain moisture. And you wear these for like 10 minutes while the eye mask is being absorbed into your skin. And it is such a cool concept because all the other eye masks that I've seen, you use them one time and then you throw them away. But this is, this is a way to do like a very hydrating, intense eye mask and then reuse these patches over and over. And it's just this and this together. And then when you're done, you wash them off and you put them back in their box right on this and you can use them again. Couple other things I love about them. They are a certified B Corp, which is great. And they're fully vegan and cruelty free as well. The offer I have for you is only valid for one week after this video goes live. I'm gonna have a link down in the description box and that link is going to take you to their website. If you spend a minimum of $40 on their website, they're gonna give you a free gift. This is their radiance mask with yellow clay and organic turmeric. This one is concentrated in active antioxidants, which is really good for your skin. So if you are kind of already curious about it and gonna spend money anyway, go ahead and get yourself a free gift. Use that link. It's actually been about 10 minutes. I've been sitting here between all of this. So I'm gonna take this off and then you just clean the back, save these, and then take your finger and rub in that remaining mask to your skin. And then you're good for the day. Um, so thank you to Typology for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have that link down below and I'm so excited for this vlog. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and hop to that first day. Getting ready to go to my haircut appointment, the last one before the wedding. Here's what I'm thinking about doing. I didn't get a trim last time and I feel like I need maybe an inch off just for the sake of the health of my hair. These little pieces in the front, I would like them shorter, like maybe to my jaw. And lastly, I think I want to blend the roots a little bit darker again. Um, we blended it all darker at my first appointment with her and then we added in some like hand painted lightness the second appointment. But I think I want to take the darkness down again a little bit more because it is reading kind of blonde lately. Um, and I think I want to read a little bit more brunette. I'm excited to get that done off the list. Jordy also has his wedding haircut today too, so that'll be fun to see. It's kind of a bummer because it's raining today and I love having my hair styled after a haircut and it might not last with the rain. That's always like the benefit of the couple days after a haircut is your hair lasts a couple days, you know what I mean? You don't have to do anything with it for a while. Oh well, oh well. <laughs> And here is the after. I feel like hair always looks so much lighter in a car, but we only toned it darker. Um, so we did not add any lightness to it at all. We trimmed it up. We got some little piecey pieces in the front. Um, when the curls fall a bit, 
later. We can take another look at it in other lighting, but honestly, the color is perfect, exactly what I was hoping for. Basically, closer to my natural color, a little bit darker. Um, I love it. I think it's awesome. And I'm so excited to go home and start organizing. Oh, I have dreams. I just want to find as many things to donate and sell as possible. We'll be hosting a lot of family um, here really soon too. So like having closets be clean for people to put their suitcases or whatever, I think is gonna be really nice. And every time I open a closet and drawer, I will feel peace instead of stress. That's the goal. Okay, welcome to this closet. Ugh. The wooden cabinet that I have in our bathroom currently, eventually I want to move it in here and use it to organize all of my filming gear and get a big glass cabinet for our bathroom to like fold towels and have toiletries and everything and baskets, a little bit of display, a little bit of practicality. So eventually I want to have that cabinet in here. For now, there is a foam mattress topper that is pretty essential for the pull-out couch in here. And then there's some bedding for the pull-out couch in here. Some pillows, a duvet, and a blanket. And the rest of this is all pretty TBD. I think there's random decor. Oh, there's some cardboard boxes. And who knows what else. So I'm gonna pull all this stuff out little by little, and then we're going to make donate, sell, keep piles. And I think for now, I will just continue to organize the keep stuff in here. Eventually, organize it much better. Today will be more of a decluttering, less of an organizing, probably. Oh my gosh, there's a whole microwave in here. I didn't even know. Okay. I'm just gonna make this box the donate box. Put everything that's gonna be donated, plus the microwave on the side in here for now. And a lot of these things I think can be donated. Like this I tried to fix and it has broken again. So I tried my best. Donate, ooh, save my Vitruvi though. closet space decluttered I know it doesn't look much different but we have extra filming supplies extra decor that's like a projector and then I'll figure out how to store this thing is massive I moved my workout equipment into here that wasn't previously in there and then we've moved out the microwave huge thing of donate um, I'm sure I can use that to organize something somewhere else and shoes that don't fit to donate and a clock that I want to find a spot for because my mom got me that and trash. So these are my filming lights that I need to figure out if I want to keep them in here or somewhere else. If anybody has any solution for storing a mattress protector, maybe a giant like plastic tub or something of the sort could be good, but that's all the stuff we need to make the bed sleepable for guests. I just found this in the closet. How do I feel about this here? Is that too crowded and busy? I like this guy. It's handmade on Etsy. Take a step back and see. Ah, it's a little busy. I like the pink that it's pulling from this though. That's kind of nice to warm up the space because over on the side it's like pretty cool toned. But honestly, I could just put it on this door where this mirror is. I don't know how I would attach it, but that'd be pretty cool. It's a test run with it just attached to the mirror. It's kind of fun. That's a little something. Can easily take it down to use that mirror, but I don't use that mirror because it's it's too tight with the desk here to see. Um, the last owners just left it. So I don't know, maybe we leave that. Okay, the closet in this room has kind of just been like the holding grounds for things that I wait and figure out what to do with. Like, remember these curtains that I got custom lengthened for my last apartment? I've just been holding on to them and I don't think we have use for them here. I wanted sheer curtains in most of the spots we have curtains. So I think that these will go to donate. Also these, storage cubes ah they didn't fit in my closet right that's why i didn't use them they didn't fit in my closet so i'll donate these two and then these lights that i made for my bathroom in the last apartment i don't really have a spot for them so i'll, <laughs> I'll donate these as well the shelves that i took down from the wall that the last owners left 
I'll donate these also. I think that's it. Let's do some loads. Ooh. Strong girl stuff. These lower cabinets aren't bad because we use them a lot. Once we get to the uppers, it uh, there's stuff just like stuffed in there. We have back stock duplicates. Also put some treats higher so that we'd hopefully reach for like healthier things first. But it needs it needs some organizing, so I'm gonna climb up there and see see what I can do. Okay. I thought we were out. I'm so glad I found more. It might not look different to you, but it is much more organized for my brain. Let me talk you through what I did. Up there is back stock that we won't need as often slash some just like candy bars and stuff that are more special occasion. This whole shelf is all drinks. So we got AG1, we got hydration packs, Huel, magnesium, all that sort of stuff. This is kind of supplements slash back stock that we will need a little more often. So we have some supplements in here supplements here, Nespresso pods, and then these are cereals and stuff. This is mostly cooking supplies and supplements. <laughs> so we have oils, vinegars, all that sort of thing. And then like this portion is kind of more supplements. This is like our go-to snack cabinet. So things that we want to reach for often. So I got kind of like chippy snacky things here and then bars and such in this little Lazy Susan. We got Lara bars, protein bars, we got um, little chopsticks, things of the sort. This is kind of turned into a little bit more of sweet treats plus seaweed because that doesn't fit anywhere else. So, you know, dark chocolate, banana bed, bread crisps, things of the sort. This is a lot of grains, soups, uh, canned beans, things of the sort. This guy is kind of making this look unorganized. I could probably fit him here. There we go, that's better, okay. And then down here is mostly baking, which this is a bit of a mess, but I don't really have a solution for that right now, so. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure there's so much stuff in here right now that the cabinet doesn't even really turn. Oh! One of my friends sent me this as a little wedding gift. You set it on a table and you can light it on fire and do like s'mores or whatever inside because she saw I posted on my story I was like, we couldn't decide between s'mores outside or TV, so we were like using candlesticks to make s'mores upstairs. So now we can do it both, which is such a thoughtful gift. This is such a random sized pan, don't you think? Like, would I ever make a bread that long? 13 inches long? I don't think I would. It takes up a lot of space. I don't see much to get rid of, to be honest. looking much better in here. But we got some of the glass baking dishes back here and blender. And then up here we have some smaller appliances like a rice cooker, the little crock pot, and then some mixing bowls, 
strainer, and then Jordy's infamous gumbo pot for all the gumbo <laughs> that we make in this house, which is a lot. By we, I mean he. I never really help. <laughs> Burgundy's on the oaks. Greasy every Sunday morning. Make wood and the smoke. Okay, wrapping up some work. Um, gonna go meet Jordy and I think hopefully some friends. We invited a handful of friends kind of last minute. Bring my AirPods in case not. At the beach for sunset. Definitely still getting chilly at night, so. Bring a I've just like added to my outfit as the day goes on with no rhyme or reason, and this is what we got. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> For the heater to turn off it takes a while sorry if it's loud but i have two questions first is this cheesy <laughs> is this cheesy for the wedding because <laughs> i'm on the fence also another question i have is i was going through mail yesterday and i got this debit card that at&t said that they loaded a refund of 39 dollars onto and i've never seen that before is that a normal thing like it's an actual real MasterCard debit card that I have to activate to get my $39 refund. Do I do it? I don't know why, since I've never seen it before. It looks legit, but it feels a little scammy. But I would like that $39. <laughs> That's a date night. <laughs> a couple things about today. I'm getting ready. I'm going to be taking Jordy to a procedure this morning. He has a procedure on his shoulder. It's his second time doing this. He's had a shoulder injury for a while from touring and loading in and out gear and he's torn something. <laughs> um, and he'll be medicated so he won't be able to drive. So I'm gonna go with him, be his driver, hang out, and probably do computer work in the lobby while he's in there. But the last like week or so, I have had so much anxiety in my body. And I say in my body because it doesn't really affect my brain or my thoughts. And it doesn't feel like it's necessarily stemming from a thought. I'm not like thinking about something and worried about it. It's just this like crushing tightness in my chest to where I feel like I can't breathe. And then I guess it does affect my thoughts in the sense of I can just only really focus on that sensation. And it's hard for me to focus on like conversations and work and it's just kind of overwhelming. And I haven't experienced this since a year from now, a, a year ago, <laughs> a year from now ago. <laughs> Um, like last January, February, I was struggling with it really bad, like really, really bad every day. It felt like super overwhelming. And I changed a lot of things in terms of only one coffee a day um, and then switched to matcha. And I tried supplements. I added in magnesium. I tried restructuring my work schedule. I tried a lot of things. I honestly don't know what eventually made it kind of go away but it's been back this last week and i've hated it and um the only correlation i can find is and we we talked about this in our premarital counseling the other night but i think that i interpret all hard feelings as stress we came up with the analogy of like i'm making this dish and then we'll go like sadness and anger and fear and whatever and i'll pop it in the oven and it'll come out and it will just look like stress to me and I, that's like the only emotion i really know that how to interpret that that is negative but i think that this feeling started when um my grandma passed and i do think i probably have well obviously a lot of sadness but also some fear about going to the funeral i'm going to be going in a few days and i just know that i'm going to be it's going to just be really heavy and really hard and everybody's going to have a lot of sadness and grief and i'm guessing that that's where that's stemming from i don't know maybe it's also we're just getting so close to the wedding and i feel like Time is running out and there's a lot of tasks left. Last night, Jordy was like, hey, tonight, all about you. Let's listen to your body, whatever it needs, which is the beach. I am. I immediately feel better when I'm at the beach. I don't know if it's like the sensory feeling of having your toes in the sand and like the white noise of the waves. I don't know if it's that there's bad cell reception so you can't really scroll. I don't know if it's the grounding of like having your toes in the earth. 
I don't know if it's the salt air. It's probably a combo of all those things, but immediately I felt like 30, 40% better. And then we had sushi at home. We just talked, cuddled, watched a TV show, which was really nice. Um, and then got in the hot tub and then went to bed early. And I was feeling so much better. I feel like it's a lot reduced today. Um, if it's there, if I look for it, if I poke it, I can feel it. But um, it's not like overtaking my body, which is really nice. So I'm really thankful for that night. And yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share because I know uh, I shared a lot about it last January when I was going through it. And I know it's like a very common thing to feel that anxiousness being held in your body. So just wanted to share. Okay, cheers. Okay, Jordy just went in for his appointment and he was saying that it actually could be a couple hours. I could go home, but what I really wanna do is go get computer work done at a coffee shop because I am so much more efficient. And then the rest of the day, I'll just stay home and organize and film. Um, and we're not that far from one of my favorite coffee shops, which is Steady State. The only thing is, is they pretty much only have espresso. I'm gonna pull up their menu and see if they have any like teas or anything because I feel like that's not good for my recent anxiety, <laughs> but they have great seating and it's a great spot to get work done. And it's 10 minutes away from here. So maybe I do it anyways. Get all of my to-do off of, off of the to-do list. And yeah, let's just do that. I gotta move to the driver's seat. I was passenger princess on the way here and I'm driving daddy on the way home. <laughs> driving daddy. Okay. Just kidding. Change of plans. I circled through the parking lot at Steady State for a while and it was packed and I could see through the window that people were like standing waiting for tables. So now I'm at this new center in Carlsbad. They've opened a second location of a lot of things that I love in Oceanside, which is funny because it's like less than a mile apart, but like there's a second, The Plot, which is a vegan spot that's in Oceanside. There's a second, Shoots, which is like a fish spot in Oceanside. And there's a second, Revolution Roasters, um, which we've only been to once, but it's really cute here. I'll show you. place whatever I don't know I might cave and just get like an Ikea one soon um, but for the meantime it's a, it's a mess in this because it's not a lot of space so what I'm thinking about doing is pulling out all medicine separating it and putting it maybe in one of the upstairs cabinets because it's not like we needed this accessible um, and then I'll have a little bit more space in here oh there's more medicine than I thought okay Okay, it's a lot easier to see things in here. It's really a random like hodgepodge of stuff, like extras, extra toothbrush, um, cotton rounds, Q-tips, whatever, extra razor heads, uh, different like fabric spray sorts of things, teeth whitening strips, extra retainer. Over here is a lot of just kind of travel stuff, like little kits full of little small things. This is a lot of larger devices so i have like a red light therapy mask and my hair dryer and things like that and then extra towels and washcloths which this could be much better organized but you know this is not permanent and at least it's not overflowing and then i have medicine here i have a few other little like loose things so i'm wondering if i try to make two of them i have some prescription medication as well so i don't know this is fine for now, but if I have two of these, I might be able to do two more medicine things. Maybe do like a first aid with band-aids and this sort of stuff. And then maybe also do a more medicine, if that makes sense. So I'll go look and see if I have another one of these anywhere. 
the main thing about the closet that I've been procrastinating is like the perimeters of the floor and the ceiling I just have been shoving stuff into. So I mostly need to go through and see which of those things are keep. Some things are just clothes that don't fit that eventually I need to sell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jordy bought me this when I was recovering from my surgery and now he's recovering. So I'm gonna go bring this to him to cuddle with. Be right back. Okay. Ugh. This side isn't too bad. It's mostly my veil. My veil, which we'll keep. And then I've kept these boxes. These are the shoe boxes from Cezanne. Only because they're beautiful. I might pull them down and see if I can use them to organize any other cabinets. Because they're not really doing any purpose sitting up here. I also might go ahead and put important wedding stuff in one of these like our vow books our rings our license all the things like that because that's really pretty it's very bridal it could be my something blue <laughs> i actually love the idea of using this as the box for wedding things i've just kind of been stashing things in here like here's our vow books obviously our wedding bands will be important if you haven't seen it these are in the paris vlogs and i learned very quickly my usual audience is not the audience for the Paris vlogs, which was interesting. Um, it's been getting a lot of traffic from my not usual viewers and my usual viewers were like not at all interested in travel content, which was fascinating. So these are the vintage rings that we bought in Paris and we just got them sized and everything good to go. So those will go in here, obviously license. Oh, I have something in my car as well that I got just for photo flat lay. I got this like painted, oyster shell dish from Etsy, which is really beautiful, but I'll just start putting things in here for the wedding. I think that the thrift store closes kind of early for drop-offs, so I'm gonna have to wrap up some organizing to go drop it off today. I've already loaded up my trunk. Let's just go through and see if there's anything else that we can pull and set aside to take and drop off. And then I feel good. I feel like that will conclude necessary decluttering for all the areas that have been overwhelming me. <laughs> 159, one minute early and they closed. Oh man, what a bummer. Okay, that's all right. Just come back another time. Have all this stuff in my trunk. <laughs> okay. Anything else I need to do while I'm in town? I'm still wearing my slippers, so. Don't really wanna get out of the car. I'll just go home. Okay, this corner. This corner is random. There's wedding stuff, there's honeymoon stuff. A lot of these things that are for the honeymoon, I'm going to organize and leave in this basket so I remember to pack it when I'm packing. Otherwise, we're going to hang and organize things. Ready? So glad I did a little bit more. Honestly, I haven't seen this much of the floor in here in a long time. Here's what we got. We got the shoes a little more organized. There's not a huge pile of shoes on the floor over here now because there's some up there. This is all cleared out. Tap shoes, vacuum attachments. Veil's gonna be gone later. So I might get more of these and just like make this all storage and label them. Down here we have my hamper, honeymoon stuff. These are actually extra sneakers. I forgot that I have this in here to reach, so I don't need to bring the bar stool in here. And so much more of the floor clean. Eventually, I could probably get rid of some duffel bags. I don't need that many. That one I'm actually borrowing from my parents, so I'll return that soon and have more space. But it's feeling a lot better in here. The only things I gotta figure out are I have extra robes and towels here, and then I'm gonna use that as storage elsewhere. So once I get a bigger 
hutch situation for up here, I'll have more towel storage as well. And it's now officially sunset Friday night. I'm gonna take off the night. I don't know what we're doing yet. We're checking in with some friends to see if anybody's down for a chill hang, like pizza on a couch hang, because Jordy's still very much recovering. But thanks for spending a couple days with me, organizing, getting things ready. Feels really good to have like, you open a closet and it's not like piles of stuff in boxes. The little things, they add up, they add up. I wanted to say thanks again to Typology for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have my link in the description down below. This promotion is valid for one week after this video goes live, so not a very long time. So if you're watching this video as it goes live, I'm gonna have that link down below. Spend a minimum of $40 and you get the free radiance mask with yellow clay. So I will have that down below for y'all. Thanks for spending the day with me. I'm gonna see you next week. Goodness, what am I doing? I don't know, I'm actually taking off a couple days to go to Texas for my Mimi's funeral. And then I'll be back and we will reassess what all we're doing because my brain can't think that far in advance, but it's gonna be good. Um, I love y'all, I'll see y'all for that, okay. So let's take all night, all night.